Well, I need to send the ball your way. Honestly, you know, as far as I'm concerned, where the day is when I get home, 
Seriously on the freeway. Threats. Of course, nobody can drive. Neither can I. Then. I'm gonna try to 
are negotiators. All right, can you Deer Park, 
Houston Site Fair, Houston Ladies, Houston Memorial, Houston Northwest, Houston Southwest, Houston Spring Branch, Keywood, Magnolia, Nassau Bay 100, The Woodlands, and Tomball. And the last one, Pasadena paid 200% for their charity contributions. <laughs> We had um, 18 clubs that have paid both their 100% contributions and their district dues by the 31st of July, which is about 34% of our clubs. We had 25 that paid their district dues by the end of July, and that's about 47%. So I'm hoping somebody got the numbers. That's kind of where we're at. I want to talk to you for just a second about Midware Conference. Everyone in this room, if you provided an email to LCI, you should have gotten a survey from me in the last week and a half. I want to thank those of you who pulled that survey out. I sent out about a thousand. We had a little less than a hundred thousand back with invalid email addresses. And we've had about 118 currently who have completed the survey. It's 11 questions based on midwinter conference. And I'm proud to say we've got some great data from your answers. And we're listening. We're not just sending you things to do to make you do them. We're sending you something that we can really understand what you want and how you want this conference to run. So thank you for that. The link to the website for your hotel bookings for the Midland Conference is on our district website now. Who can tell me the, the uh, web address for our district website? Lions2.org. Yes, Lions2.org. Lions2.org. Lions2 Lions2 so you can register for Midland there. You can register for your hotel room there. It will show you the two options and the rates with our special rate for uh, the conference. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but the rooms at Martin Greenville typically run from $6,700 a night. We got the phenomenal rate of $159. So we're, we're really thankful for that. We've got about 28 people signed up, <coughs> registered for Midwinter right now. They've already, they've already registered, paid their money, given us their information. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Did you have time to idea about the rooms? I was like, all the rooms are suites in our rooms, by the way, and they all have a water view. Can you tell me, can you go to, um, back to our district website? And then click on district goals dashboard. Remember, this is available for you guys all the time. I encourage you to check it regularly, but we want to talk a little bit about our district goals. Um, I updated this, but I'm going to dig a little bit deeper in some of these numbers. I updated through August, so we can take a look at that. Our extension goals, I'm proud to say that we have opened the charter for a new club in our district, and I'm going to slaughter the name. I'm sure I'm going to give it my best shot. Houston. Houston headquarters of national veterans and advocates. Readiness. 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 <laughs> this is a cyber club. We see a lot of room for growth here, a lot of room for more service, not only um, right here in our seven counties, but we see it expanding as well. So we've got three more clubs to charter before the end of the year to meet our goal. Added members. You can see that we've got on our sheet here um, added, and then we've got a separate category for reinstated and transferred. So we're going to talk about that even in a little more detail. In July, we added 24 new members, brand new lines. I'm sorry, that's the total number that we added. 17 were brand new, four were transfers or reinstatement. And then we've added two brand new lines in August already, which puts us at a net goal, our net gain of seven, because we did lose 19. We lost 19 in the first 30 days of the year. Now, there's a lot of reasons for that. Some of it is because we tried to get lines until the last second to get their dues paid, and it didn't happen, and then we didn't get the system in time. So I know of seven that were like that, but we still lost 19 lines. Six of those were in good standing. It's important for us to know why we're losing these lines. So we've broken it down 
um, about six in good standing. We had eight that were dropped for lack of dues, two that transferred. That's a positive, right? And one that moved and two that were deceased. So in July, we had five, we were in net five positive, and now we're in net seven positive. Let's keep that number going up as you start talking to new people about lines. We've got two membership growth events that are this plan. Um, we have gained a grant from LCI of about $4,200 so that we can really focus on areas that need rebuilding and that need new clubs placed there. Our service projects, I'm really excited to talk to you about tonight. We've already had three service projects the first 31 days of the year. That's impressive. Across our district to date, we have 56 service activities. 56. Serving almost 30,000 people. 29,850 people have been served. And just over a month. So they had three girls. The volunteer hours were already over a thousand volunteer hours, 1,121. The next one's really important. So our presidents, our secretaries, our treasurers all have to go through training, right? One of the things that all of those trainings talk about is reporting. It's so important that our clubs report what they're doing, whether it's a meeting or a service activity or a zone meeting or a cabinet meeting. All of those things have to be reported for LCI to be able to understand what's going on in our area. Last month we had 10 clubs out of 53 report, and we had four clubs that have already reported this month. So we're going to get there. It takes a little while to get used to it, to understand the process. Lion Judy Champion from Houston, Aldine, and Spring area uh, is our district administrator. If you're a secretary and you are a president and you need help learning about my line and how to report your activities and your meetings, reach out to her. She will be happy to help. If you're not comfortable with that, reach out to me. I will be happy to help, but we need to get those things reported. Our leadership, um, we had three leadership trainings um, already. That was mostly for our zone chair. A lot of you have done your virtual position, um, club position training. We're going to have at least 15 people that are in the conference as far as I was saying. Anyway. And um, so far, the district governor has visited 11 clubs the first three months. Um, and I participated in seven service activities so far. And we've donated $192 for LCI. I want to tell you about our district service program. If anybody's got Facebook, you didn't see what was going on, you're not checking your page because there were tons of people posting about it. This was a revitalization an educational program that was put in at the third ward chess park on one of the most what was previously one of the most dangerous corners in the city of Houston. Once that park was put in, crime reduced by 80 percent. 80 percent. This Saturday, we have a first district service activity. And I want you to know there were how many organizations were there? There were eight organizations total that showed up for this event. Our district had 12 clubs represented working their backsides off in 100 degree temperatures, trimming trees, building planter boxes, planting pollinator plants, putting virtual um, or putting uh, signage on those planter boxes to explain to young children. We served about 3,000 people in that area that live in that area of the third ward in one morning for four hours. It was yes. a great event. If you haven't looked at the pictures, please do. I think you'll see that it was an amazing event and I want to do more things like that. So I would like for those 12 clubs that were represented to stand if you're in the room, if you were in a third world chess park, I know it's tight, but it's important that we recognize you. Just so you know, afterwards we all went to Nepal's original Nepal's congregation, 
and um, indulge in some really cool groups and you can use your imagination to determine what kind of groups those were. They were good. They were cold. They were cold. It was cold and wet. And we're still wet. We slept through our clothes. Last thing I want to talk to you about is um, to recognize a couple of people that are in the room who sponsored new lines. I'm going to read their names. And if they're in the room, if you would please raise your hand so I can get uh, someone to you so you don't have to leave your seat uh, for your pen. Uh, Lion Anthony Price, Lion Kyle Bartlett, Lion Mason, um, I know this is all last name. Dupuy. Dupuy. Got it. You got it. Um, Lion Kayla. Lion Cindy Gears. From Houston. From Houston, Phil Lamb, Lourdes Hunchin. From Houston, oh, we wanted to get Lourdes Rose. Houston Northwest had a new member, Martha Lanier, as our sponsor. Houston Royal Oaks had three new members, Lion Eddie, Lion Maria, and Lion, uh, Lion Maria sponsored two of those three. And I know Lion Eddie is here. And we Lion Carol Barnett. And she's from Katie Lines. Lion Jenny Mangrum from Magnolia Lions Club, sponsored the member. And that was just Monday night. I have to know about that. And then Montgomery. Lion Marie and Lion David. I think that's uh, Lake Conroe's opinion. Oh, you're right. I remember Lake Conroe's opinion on that. And, but they're not here tonight. Right. And then Prairie View A. I'm and here. <laughs> what these guys are receiving is my personal pen. You can't buy it. You can't find it. You have to earn it. And the way you earn it is by sponsoring a member. If you want to know what it looks like, it's right here on my shirt. It's the star with the pen. The little stones around it because I'm kind of a beautiful. <laughs> I'll have to put up with my business every once in a while. I want to thank you all for what you're doing. I want to thank you for your support. I want to encourage you to continue to do what you're doing. We make a difference. Every day when you wake up and you look in the mirror, look in the mirror, remember that day you had the opportunity to serve someone. Anything from opening a door to just smiling at someone sitting at a stoplight. You never know what you're going to be able to do to change your day. So thank you for what you're doing. I'll talk to you soon. Just to go over these, I love it. I love spreadsheets. I love that you keep up with metrics. Uh, you know, keeping up with metrics is great. So thank you for that. I want to go see my spreadsheets on the yeah. Okay. All right. To our tail twister, Lion Eric Graves. All right. So we've got a quick little activity for those of you who bought house boat. It's almost time to open up. Make sure you have a pen ready. I didn't buy one. So, nope. Anybody, any last minute purchases for five dollars? Okay. Sorry. Two envelopes and two more. We got another one. Okay, so half the money is going to go to TLC, half the money will go to the one winner of our contest. What? Okay, don't open the envelopes just yet. So they're inside here. Okay. 
there, there is a, there's a very specific set of instructions in there. They're, they are very detailed. Some of them are a little tricky, so pay attention. The first person to finish the 15 steps listed will win or run. Go ahead. You got that for free. You can open the envelopes and begin. Three, two, one, go.
Lord, I'm going to Members of this club were driving vacation you would ever have. Okay? Those rooms are outstanding and we're getting them at 159. I tell you one of my members tried to book the whole hotel without that code it's like four hundred dollars. Okay? So we're getting a really good way it's gonna be a great weekend to have a staycation down there. Those rooms are absolutely I'm gonna see the hotel from my head, so it's cool to I'm not part of So go look at that take a look at that video get yourself booked in because they will run out they will tell them how long when you get to put the number. Uh, anybody else on this table? Uh, this row here? Does that have any announcements? I have a couple of district announcements. And, uh, first off, PDG Rick Reynolds sent his regard. He couldn't be here tonight. He's under the weather. He asked me to make an announcement for him. So that's why I'm wearing sort of a Hawaiian style shirt and shorts. 
But unfortunately, our district governor and I think he told me just made all the announcements that I wanted to. Before you come here, BDT Rick wanted to make sure everybody signed up for the Midwinter Conference and did not miss out on the fun. It's going to be a fun time. That's going to be the thing for an overarching thing for this time. If you, if you, if you don't show up, you're going to miss out on the fun. The second thing that I want to talk about is there's my GLT umbrella. Uh, if you're just a club officer, you saw the uh, uh, announcements that I've been sending out about club officer training. And we have three winners that uh, completed all their online training for their, their club officer positions. From Tomball, we had Edward Delaney, club secretary, that uh, finished his training. Baytown, we have Elizabeth Thompson. And from Houston Heights, we have PDT Mark Roth. They all they all completed their training and were on the randomizer pick for, for wins for that. So I'll be sending out those gift cards to those people because I don't trust you buying this ribbon. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
This will be a beautiful ceremony. Any veterans in the room, we're asking you please come as the Vietnam vets would like to honor you in recognition with some type of service work as we honor them with the service of in a in a truth, in a peace to say thank you for serving together. We need your Vietnamese veterans, the ones from Vietnam. Yes. And then the American Vietnam veterans. Yes. So we're gonna, it's gonna be a beautiful thing and I want to bring it to the Save district the now. Save the date, October the 9th. Fires will go out, and I hope to see you all there. Eighty-two hundred Broadway. But flyers will go out tomorrow with the pillow of the governor, and then all of the clubs will have it. And so this will be a beautiful project. They will have dancers. They will have uh, singers, entertainers, and murals painted. So if you can picture on the Vietnamese uh, village, all of the buildings are falling down. It's really a sad sight. Uh, we were able to get with Pastor Michelle, who gave us 100 bags of rice to take to the elderly. They were so thankful. They wanted to tell us how can we help do this for other people. So uh, Vicki brought in an artist who's going to paint a mural of hope. Uh, Vietnam and America drawing the bridge together and coming for unity. So it's going to be throughout their apartment complex, and so we're just hoping to revitalize that whole community. Thank you. In relation to Betty, for any of y'all that really don't know, Ms. Betty, I tell you what, this lady, and a lot of you don't know this, she was the most awesome governor because if you can imagine a lady being governor and having to get around and everybody helped her every past district governor every member was here when she led the charge to hurricane party and she was there every step of the way okay y'all get the front so right at the ceremony the front or back side <laughs> <laughs> but hey. Well, uh, so listen, hey, Valerie Dave, the current president of the Missouri Army, I'm proud to be so. Uh, I want to say two things we're doing uh, this month. One of them is I'd like to have our chairperson for hunger stand up, Pastor Michelle Stearns. <laughs> runs uh, one of the largest uh, food pantries in Texas. And the they need help because if they have clothes, they even have appliances, they give them out lawn more and refrigerators. They have so many things, but it's they get so much in it's hard to sort. Michelle, would you mind just letting them know real quick what kind of help you need? We're gonna try and put something up like maybe the between the 16th and the 19th the flyer will go out, but it's definitely need to get clothes to people. Yes, good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Pastor Michelle Stark. My husband and I, we run, as I also said, the largest pantry. Well, I call it a pantry plus because it's more than just two. As she indicated, we have uh, solar appliances such as AC units, um, lawnmowers, weed eaters. We have baby items. We have play pens. We have we have our three in one strollers. We have coffee makers, curious. We have brand new clothing items, brand new shoes. We have mattresses, we have baby pampers, clothing, bottles, mirror, formula. We also have, we have three, um, what is it called? We, we, we have three different ways for the community to be able to be served. One, we have what's called a guest day shopper for those who uh, don't want to come out, but they, they make their order through the internet. They go on our internet, on our website, excuse me, on our website, they choose the items that they would like to eat. We have a list of items, they choose them. We have a red, make ready team. What they do, they fill those boxes. And if they are unable to come and pick, we have a little mobile unit. We go so far, we go in with deliverables. Then we also have in house, what is called, um, there's, uh, it's called clients' charts. Those that are able to come out, they come, they get a basket, and they go through our dry goods, they go through our uh, meats and dairies, and they choose their own items that they are able to eat according to their diet of their intake and then what we have is an emergency where they call uh, Monday, Wednesday and Friday of the week they come in 
We have boxes packed for them. They take those and then we have every second, third, or fourth Thursday of every month where we have drive through and we serve on those on that day alone 500 to 600 families from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. So what we are seeking, yes, is volunteers. Those we get tons and tons of clothes for our from our uh, our uh, partners. We have boxes that are just as high as I am. Filled with clothing, yes, and brand new shoes. Everything is brand new. Nothing is nothing is used. It is brand new, and we make sure that the items and things that we do receive, they are checked, and we make sure that they are operative. And before we send out, we send nothing out. We try not to send out anything that is broken and cannot be used. And then if it should happen to slip through the crack, we will take it back and return it. And none of this is at no cost. It's absolutely free. We charge no dime. We charge not a penny, one cent. For these items. So, my husband and I, we were built for community, and this is what we do. We love to do. It's not a chore, it's not a strain. We get up, we are there. I tell everyone that place there is really our home. We just have a house where we just go and bathe and take a uh, few hours of nap, and we are right back at what we do. It's true. Seven it's true. days. We are located at 7802 Jensen Drive. That is Northeast Houston. That's like mid in between. If you're familiar with the Georgia Brown Convention Center, and uh, Ongo, Texas, we're right in the mid part of there. So again, that's 780 to Justin Drive. Telephone number is 281-936-8175. Again, 281-936-8175. If you would like to come out and volunteer, we would love to have you. It's work to be done if you would like to work with the community. Thank you. And one of the things you had to do is I had I met with an organization called Covenant House. Uh, they're they're so unique what they do. Uh, when children do not get adopted, no one wants them, and they get put they, they leave on the street. They teen, they, they they can't keep them in the hour. They age out. They age out, and they end up on the street. They get trafficked, and uh, what they do is they go on the Covenant House goes on the street. They find them. They house them. And they're 18 to 24. They need a lot of services there. They need things like hygiene kits. They're when they're checking out, see if they can do if they if we can do a vision screening for all 60 of those 18 to 24 year olds, as well as uh, and the world looks that they might be able to come into a COVID screening. So we're looking to see between Joseph's house and Covenant House, maybe make that district wide as well. So I just want to, our very supportive of it. I just want to say thank you. I appreciate it. I have one other thing on the website. So the King of Jungle, um, Hector couldn't be here tonight, but he asked me to speak for him. Um, together, we've been working with the district well, as the veterans chair and the King of Jungles. They are taking a group of veterans, World War II veterans, to the World War II Museum in New Orleans. And we have had so much support. So I just wanted to let you guys know we were having a fundraiser this Sunday. Um, the flyer is on Facebook. If you're interested in going, like $10 a piece, all donations go to the World War II trip. Um, we have a 100 year old World War II family going. We have actually two 100, 100 year old and then we got one trip in 98 on the bus staff side. So the trip was going to be a one day trip. It has now been sponsored to be a two day trip. And of course, that's going to depend on COVID and restrictions. We do have medical team going with us to make sure that the veterans are okay and our caretakers each come in as well. Um, also, we have Jeff and Marty who all are both flying. Marty's the reason why flying. Jeff still needs to be put in that speed of the jungle. But he is with Lone Star Warrior Outpost. It's a nonprofit. And Jeff, if you want to address the district. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So, for those of you who don't know, know me again, thank you, Ms. Lucy. I really appreciate that. So, I just uh, obviously we're still going with the King of the Jungle. But I'm also a president and founder of Lone Star Warrior Outpost. Lone Star Warrior Outpost uh, was pretty much founded uh, for, for veterans and, and law enforcement, okay, uh, for first responders. So, uh, this pretty much started uh, with. You know, I lost a lot of guys uh, to, to, to suicide by my unit. And, uh, you know, I, I wanted to do something. Yeah, I wanted to do something. So we founded um, uh, Lone Star Warrior Outpost. 
okay, my, mom, my brother's a cop, and uh, he's like, man, we really got to do something for our guys. So we started a softball team, okay? A few months ago, like three months ago, we're up to three softball teams filled with nothing but veterans, combat veterans, and we have about four cops. So, guys, look, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm telling you, I want to thank from the bottom of my heart the youth lady lions, more specifically Valerie, Valerie and Lucy, okay? Uh, we didn't have any sponsors for the event going on on August 14th, okay, to draft them, okay? And they were the first ones to say, hey, we got your back. Okay, we got your back. So uh, I'm kind of still a little emotional about that because she's the one that really paved the way of getting everything started. Then after that, it just started flowing in. It just started flowing in. As a matter of fact, we just received full sponsorship for one of our original teams, the Warhawks. The goal is that these veterans, law enforcement, can come in and not pay a single penny, okay, and come out through the spirit of the core, through camaraderie. Okay, and play with their brothers and sisters out on a different type of battlefield versus the battlefield up here that they're fighting each and every day. Okay, from, from, from serving us. This is the best way that we can serve them and how they served us. So, hope I wasn't long winded, guys. There's so much more to say, but thank you so much. Thank you. Just real quick, uh, some of y'all may not remember me because I've been a <laughs> since then. Uh, I'm your elect senior elected director for Texas Lions Camp. We have received our first sponsor check for Bob Gowden. Bob Gowden is going to be incorporated with Midwood Conference this year. Lion Kevin Smith and I will be reaching out and calling the club. We're going to come to your presentations. And yes, we're going to be asking for money. Uh, I hope you'll be hearing from us. If you don't, please call me. Um, we will hope to see y'all soon. I am Lynn Harrison from the Crime Lions Club. I just wanted to, I have some flyers I can, um, want to hand out about our upcoming fundraiser, our fish fry, September the 18th. This will be our, our 11th. Um, annual fish fry. Um, I just want to let everybody know so you can put that on your calendar. I know there's other events going on on September 19th, but if you can come, we'd appreciate it. I know it's not on the agenda, but we have our related checks. Yep, one more. Okay. One more. Anyway, we're having our golf tournament on October the 14th. This is how we raise money to help a lot of people. So I've got flyers and everything else, but that's not really why I came tonight. This lady over here, our dear governor, has a motto that says, I can, we will. Well. Well, I took out the heart big time, and I just proved how you can bring four clubs together, regardless of the size, regardless of the money, and make it happen. One of our lions in my club had a great nephew that had just a major accident. I'll give you a brief overview. They had a $4,300 uh, bill through Memorial Tournament. Okay. The little boy was three and a half years old. He fell from the upper bunk bed to a concrete floor below, cracked his skull in three places, was in the hospital for seven weeks, ended up with blood on his brain while he was there. He got meningitis. When he came home, he will be in all kinds of rehab. And I asked the mother, the little boy will be in rehab for over the next year. And the lady works at Kroger's. So the family really doesn't have much. I got together, our Lions Club blessed us. We were able to give a thousand dollars. We went to Hempstead, one of the smaller clubs. Let me tell you, she didn't have very much. So I said, I only need $10. She took the $10. I got 250 when I left. We gave it over to the humanitarian relief fund. They matched it with the 1250. We've written a check to Memorial Hermann 
for $2,500. That's two clubs. Number three, I happen to know a lot of people. I contacted Emmy and I said, Emmy, do you know anybody at Memorial Hermann? And she said, yes, I did. We always do work with those people. She got me a contact at Memorial Hermann. We got somewhat of a discount, but we still owe money. And someone said, there's another gentleman, if you may know him, Steve Han. Well, he was a treasurer in this district two years ago. Well, he's a part of the Sports Lions Club. We came up a little short in funds. I talked to Steve, and Steve said, Al, don't worry about whatever you've got. So we put four clubs together, helped a little boy and a family. We completely paid a $4,300 medical bill. I went and we did. All right. I got I got a club when I signed up. Okay. Go ahead. Montgomery Lions Club, we have bingo this weekend. This morning we had a Meals on Wheels activity where we helped out 1,600 uh, meals be prepared. So if you can, make it to our bingo, same time, same place. We start at 7 o'clock at the Montgomery Community Building in downtown Montgomery. Thank you. Uh, this is club or state? Okay. Can you see me? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I'll just speak louder, okay? I am Emmy, your trustee at the Lions Eye Bank. I know it's not until next year that we're having a ball at home. Something really fun. You're having fun while you're helping the Texas Lions I back. So I'm encouraging and I'm challenging each club to please put your own bowling thing in. So I'll be counting on you and maybe the next uh, next year meeting I will have some displays, some forms and some fun things to do. So uh, whoever will have or endorse the three first clubs indoors, their bowling team will have a prize. Care of my husband, Lalu <laughs> Joe. Heather, Carl, Alex. Text Heather is right up here. You might want to pass because it's kind of tight yeah. here. Yeah. Uh, $100 check from the Houston Holiday Live Club for sponsorship to buy it out. Get all the kinks out uh, between me and uh, Lyme David. We've been working on it. Uh, thank you for being patient on that. Uh, second, uh, I want to remind you that this weekend is the installation back at the uh, terminal of the camp. I know, uh, you know, West Carr, he's going to install this uh, prison over there. Uh, there's probably about 30 from our club going. If you go, be safe, be safe on the road, and have a good time. Is there any announcements you look for? I said, a lot of foreign
on, hold on, you're muted. You could, you, can you hear me? Yes. Did anybody talk about the hoedown? We honestly oh, could not understand anything during the whole meeting. Yeah. We oh, okay. Um, no, we didn't, but we'll talk about it tomorrow. Oh, I'll yeah. Talk oh, we'll talk about, about it, it next month for sure. No problem. Yeah. And we'll have flyers. Right. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Okay. Did they it's tell okay. you why we weren't there? I started to call what? you today. Did somebody tell you why we weren't there? No. Oh, okay. Um, our little 10 month old granddaughter in yeah. Fort Worth uh, tested positive for COVID this week. Uh -huh. And of course we were up there keeping her not very yeah. long ago. So we had to be tested. And so I'm waiting for my test results. And oh, okay. I didn't want to come tonight and take a chance on on passing yeah. anything to anybody in the event that I was positive. So right. anyway, that's why we're not there. Hate when do you miss it. results? I should have them tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. It's usually taken about two days. And I got tested, Karina, I got tested yesterday. So okay. I'm sure I'll have them by tomorrow probably. Well, so. just let me know. And I'll be in there um, at the movie theater. Yeah, well, be, and I'm keeping my <laughs> fingers crossed because I, I end up, I, you know, I'll have to bring you all the debit card and stuff. Um, but I'm being being positive that it's going to be negative. <laughs> so anyway, I'll let you know, but hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. Okay.